Raptors, some of the planet's deadliest predators to ever walk the earth. Famous for their sickle claws and larger brains, these dinosaurs are only second to the Tyrannosaurus Rex when it comes down to popularity and the amount of time spent debating how they actually were back when they were alive. You know raptors from movies like Jurassic Park, Disney's Dinosaur, and King Kong, amongst hundreds of other films, TV series, books, video games, and more. While these animals have been ever evolving as new research is underway, one thing has stayed consistent until the last couple years, raptors hunt in packs, or do they? While this is close to an impossible question to answer, with the animals being dead for tens of millions of years now, science is ever evolving, and with that comes new theories on how they actually acted. A new study suggests that raptors aren't the impressive pack hunters that we see in man-made stories. Analyzing the teeth of 100 plus million year old raptor fossils and then using some modern day biology to fill in the gaps, new studies propose that raptors didn't hunt in packs, but they may have at the very least fed together. The comparison used are Komodo dragons, which are known to have multiple of their kind come in for a feast once the prey is dead or almost. Komodo dragons also never interact with their infants, a common behavior with pack hunters. Studying the stomach contents of an adult Komodo and an infant will show drastic changes in their diets, as the adults have no part in feeding the young at all. Researchers also use the comparison that both modern birds and reptiles are usually always solo hunters. Being the closest relatives to the ancient dinosaurs, this information is useful when predicting how these ancient beasts would act. Back to the teeth now. Studying both infant and adult raptor teeth from around 115 to 118 million years ago suggests that the diets of these different age animals were also different, claiming that if the adults pack hunted, they were far more likely to bring back meat to their nests in order to feed the little ones. There is a lot of science in this research that suggests raptors not being pack hunters, but is it really enough to change the way we have thought of and shown these creatures to act in our storytelling entertainment? That's a question a simple YouTuber can't really answer, but let's give it a shot. Alright everyone, so you just heard all of that, and now I have a special guest with me right now, Mr. Clayton Fioriti. I'm sure you guys know all about him. We keep him down in the basement. Clayton, say hi. Hi guys, uh, it's good to be out in the free open air again. Uh, I know, right? Hopefully I can stay up here longer <laughs> this time. <laughs> We'll see how that goes. Oh. So anyway, so, you know, what we're going to be talking about a little bit more on is kind of like our own opinions. And we're going to look at, you know, the thoughts of other people about how this new potential dino study or theory suggests that velociraptors, not just velociraptors, we're just going to say them because, you know, most people think of velociraptors, raptors in general, apparently might not have hunted in packs. And now this goes against a lot of a lot of what we's, we've always thought, you know, raptors have always been, you know, at least working in packs of a few of them in video games and movies and books forever, as long as I can remember, Clayton, and specifically in Jurassic Park. And I'm pretty sure Jurassic Park's like, you know, the reason why we really think of raptors as pack yeah. hunters ever since Jurassic Park 1. Uh, and then we had that whole dynamic. So, like, as far as Jurassic Park goes... How would you feel if there was never any raptor, you know, like working together, pack hunting? Do you feel like the the movie wouldn't have been as like cool as it is? Uh, yeah, probably. But I also think that uh, most of the times that we see the raptors in Jurassic Park, um, well, actually, no, it was a big plot point. Remember, Doctor Grant, the paleontologist, is actually explaining to the kid that uh, raptors hunt in packs. They come at you from the yeah, side. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, it's interesting because even though we have seen raptors hunt sing, like in a singular sort of style, like uh, when the one attacked Ellie and killed uh, Mr. Arnold in the bunker and, you know, everything. There's only one raptor in mm -hmm. Fallen Kingdom and there's raptors off doing their own thing like in Jurassic Park 3 and other stuff. So, yeah, it wouldn't have been as cool if they never hunted in packs in the movies, but... Uh, it's very interesting that they would allude uh, that dinosaurs like raptors didn't hunt in packs because they've pretty much told us for the last, I guess, since the 80s Forever, that like, raptors, or maybe the, yeah, since the 60s. I, yeah. yeah, it's been at least, you know, it's been as long as we've been alive. So it's it's been maybe even longer than yeah. that. So it's very weird to challenge it. And especially 
off of something that's a little, you know, I'm not uh, by any means a specialist. Neither of us no. are. We're just, you know, YouTubers that talk about dinosaurs and stuff. But to go and say that, you know, potentially raptors didn't work together just because the grown-ups uh, had, you know, signs that maybe they ate different things than the babies. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe they just ate different things at that time of their lives when they died. You know, you never really know. So it's a very odd, odd sort of uh, uh, suggestion to say all that. But as far as movies and fantasy and all that goes, you know, it would definitely, you know, raptors are cool. Like, Blue's kind of proven that you can have a single raptor and it's going to be cool. Uh, but like as far as media and like entertainment goes, it, it would just kind of like break my dinosaur loving heart a little bit to just, you know, instantly just get rid of all that. Mm -hmm. um, just, you know, just change that way of thinking. Yeah. I don't um, agree with the study yeah. uh, at all. And like you said, we're not specialists, we're not paleontologists, but the, no. the reason I'm so skeptical of this is because like, this isn't my first rodeo, so to speak. Like I've kind of seen, paleontological studies come out and say one thing and then a couple of years later they completely go in the opposite direction um, yeah. when we were growing up i don't know if you remember this but one of the things that was constantly debated was how fast t-rex can run um and yeah all the time yeah and like, is it slower than a human is it faster than a human yeah yeah, yeah. And and jeep speed jeep speed yeah <laughs> and i mean on top of all of that they had the whole uh is t-rex a scavenger or is t-rex a hunter Which yes. and and this is yes. the thing too, like, why couldn't it be both? You know, like most animals, an opportunist, which I'm pretty sure most of yeah. us think that's what T-Rex was. And it's like, well, if you just apply that same sort of logic to a velociraptor or really any modern animal we could compare to, it's not like if a, yeah. a hyena is separated from a pack or like a wild dog, it's not like they just die. They're gonna try to hunt on their <laughs> own. So <laughs> they're going to try to do their own thing. Yeah. So you're like, yeah, of course they can do their own thing. It just makes more sense that these smaller, smaller animals would need to work together a little mm -hmm. bit. And, you know, I, it, it's, they might not be as clever or as awesome as the movies and video games and all that stuff has always described them. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be so stupid to the point where they're like, eh, we're not going to work together to like, you know, eat stuff or that they they don't do it at all. And I think, and where I'm getting this from is um, a website called, what is this, silent, sciencedaily.com. Now, I don't know how reputable they are or not, but this, this sort of study is everywhere. This is just the link I have up uh, right now. And I think somewhere in there, they also state that, you know, maybe they were opportunists in this, you know, this overall kind of suggestion here mm -hmm. that uh, they would work together if it came down to it. Say, like, there was a... Um, you know, a half dead dinosaur dying, they would, you know, find it together and finish it off and eat it together. Well, it's like, okay, well, maybe that's not pack hunting, but you would think that sort of uh, mindset of these animals over thousands and millions of years would make them at least occasionally or more, more often than not be like, hey, well, if we can eat together, we can kill together. Yeah. And that's just kind of how nature's kind of kind of worked so we aren't experts like we said so but it's still like it's a weird thing to suggest that they wouldn't do that and i think you know movies in general would kind of suffer from yeah not having <laughs> pack raptors man i mean it's that's just always been so cool and until you know maybe they didn't do it but until we have like actual evidence really good good evidence and not just you know like this specimen was different than this specimen even though they could have been thousands of years apart yeah. i know science is really accurate but it's probably not that accurate yet um so it's just like yeah maybe they didn't hunt packs all the time but they probably did still too but speaking of that let's talk about jurassic jurassic world dominion a little bit and i think there's some new raptor pack information because uh we got a new new raptor squad don't we I think, yeah well, I don't know uh, if we're supposed to talk about this yet clayton but uh <laughs> are we gonna get in trouble no Is i don't think no we're not gonna official? get in trouble for this <laughs> but uh so Actually, at CinemaCon, they unveiled some new footage uh, to a lot of people that had uh, Claire, played by Bryce Dallas, Howing, uh, Bryce, Bryce Dallas Howard, wow, yes, uh, running along <laughs> the rooftops, evading a new pack of raptors who were hunting in a pack. So, uh, and not only that, we've got the uh, you know obviously there's Blue, who's a Velociraptor, but then we've got new raptors called Atrociraptors. And we've got other raptors yeah. called pyroraptors. So uh, this mm -hmm. is really, and I think all of them, I mean, we already know velociraptors in Jurassic Park hunt in packs, but 
uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of footage description that says the Atrociraptors do the same thing, which is cool. And uh, I don't know why they wouldn't, because uh, like you said, they're a smaller sized animal, and to take down bigger prey it just makes more sense. Yeah. And so yeah, but like if anything, the Jurassic Park's kind of hit both both stems here. They've had them in packs and on their own this whole time, so it makes me kind of question if this. Uh... Well, <laughs> well, okay, it's interesting. So I'll put this out there, and I I I think you might feel the same way. The reason this sort of study makes people like us, or specifically me, feel really skeptical is because, I don't know if you remember this, but back in 2017, they started saying that the Spinosaurus walked on its knuckles and like looked radically different. And then a couple years after that, or maybe it was 2014, and then they changed it again in 2017. It's changed like five times to, in the last 10 years, it seemed. Like. And like now we've got like the 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 really weird paddle tail which i i personally know paleontologists that have looked at that study and have been like no 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 we we have to like we have to go against this so they don't even they don't even agree amongst themselves never, <laughs> like, they, yeah they've never really had that's always been kind of a thing with the paleo world looking on it from the outside i'm not in it once again no mm -hmm. disrespect to these people they work hard at what they do um but it seems like you know before we were arguing over our opinions on social media, the, the paleontologist folk were arguing a lot earlier than that about their kind of <laughs> views on how dinosaurs were or weren't. And, uh, so this is just this whole video is just once again like, yeah, it's fun to talk about this stuff. And yes, it's we, it, we should try our best to be, you know, accurate to how these beautiful animals really were. And I guess yeah. the, at the end of the day, we don't really know because we didn't see them. And uh, but we could we could try to do them justice and. Uh, the fact that, that like these these creatures are still having stories told about them is pretty awesome, you know. Hopefully, in you know a hundred million years, some breed of human or alien or something is like, you know what, those humans were cool. Let's uh, add them in our movie and run away from them and put them in big parks and stuff. Gosh, we're already <laughs> there, aren't we, Clayton? <laughs> yeah, I guess we are.